Hey there, it's Laura Godwin, your Cincy Superstar Director. Right now, I'm going to be your Leadership of Love Coach with a real quick idea about how you can be super awesome for your team and how they can look at you with the respect and the awe that you really hope that they would. So, one of the things that, you know, I love to say is that my team is kind of like my son. And I am like talkative, talkative, talkative. They've heard all my stories. They know all of my, you know, different tips and ideas. And I share them freely and often. And I think at some point they just kind of start tuning me out. Kind of like my son. I can say something over and over. And then one of his buddy's mom says it one time. And he comes back home talking and singing her praises about how smart she was. And I'm like, oh, I give up. I seriously give up. Well, our teams are the same way. After a while, I think they kind of just tune us out. Blah, blah, blah. That's what I imagine my team says about me whenever I post another video. Even though it may not be true, that's how I feel. So how can I earn the respect and stay current and fresh and fun for them um, even when you know, I'm the same face and I'm the same director. So one of the things that I've used is uh, making sure that number one, I use a lot of guest speakers because we all have different personalities and it's really unfair to, you know, not give your team the chance to learn and grow from other kinds of leaderships. If you're type A personality, then get some type B in front of the camera to them. Um, if you're type B, get some type A. Um, you know, don't post the same kind of content on your Facebook page all the time. Reach out and get some different stuff. Um, but one of the things that I love to do the most is to use different um, you know avenues that I have personally grown so I love to say you know I'm gonna share with you a tip right now that I learned from you know Jen Audette and Jen if you're watching this I look up to you so much I always have and uh, so you know like if I tell my team hey I got this idea from one of my Cincy sisters that just rocks and you know then I'll say something like oh my gosh you know I learned this from Orville at one of my first superstar director summits and I took notes on it and I was you know I want to share with you what I learned that day um, these are the kind of things that you can interject into your everyday conversation with your downline directors with your downline with your team and it will make them stop and listen to you with a fresh set of ears if that's possible, but it will make them have that aha moment because they won't just write you off. They'll think, oh my gosh, she's actually went through training. She's actually read this book. She's watched this, you know, video. She's learned something and she's sharing it with me. Whether you do it as a group or whether just within your one-on-one -on -one conversation that you have with your, you know, team and with your directors, you have these moments where you can tell them where you got inspired from and then do them the honor of sharing that inspiration with them as well. This is huge. This is huge. And I really do feel like that. The more you use this, the more your team will begin to respect you more and to look up to your position a lot more um, because you're rubbing shoulders, you're networking, and you're getting yourself in front of some top-notch leaders and training and, uh, you're providing them to them. To, you're providing that to them as well. So, hope this gives you some ideas on, you know, how to try to, you know, be that inspiring leader that you want them to know that you are, and to try to keep yourself fresh and current so that they don't just tune you out like your kids do after a while. All right, hope this helps.